Welcome to Golden Truth Tarot. Before I get started with today's video, I want to remind you that on my website at www.goldentruthtarot.com, you can find the highest quality crystals and natural gemstone jewelries. Everything is handmade by me. You can find different bracelets, you can find rings, you can find necklaces, you can also find earrings as well. And you can also find different sets made of bracelets and earrings. They come in this beautiful gold box with a little black bow on top and they make the perfect gift. If you're interested, shipping is worldwide. Just go on my website. You can find the link under this video or you can find it on my page as well. Some products are also listed on my Etsy shop, so you can check out my Etsy shop and the link is again on my page. Thank you so much and now let's get started with today's video. Hi Scorpios, welcome to your September reading. Now let's get started with the first week of September. During this week you're going to be very very busy. Busy at work, busy in your home, this in your personal life, so many things that you need to do and accomplish. For those Scorpios who have children, this might also be the beginning of a new school year. In some countries, the new school year starts in September, in others it starts uh, the second half of August. But I do see that you need to spend more time. You want to be present with them. You want to be more present in your family, with your children. You don't want to miss out on memories, on their first day of school, on other things, but also you want to keep your career as well. You want to do a good job. You want to make sure that you can provide financially as well. And even for those uh, Scorpios who are single, I do see that you, you will be very busy. You have spent a lot of money during the summer and now starting september you're thinking about putting your finances in order again paying off credit cards paying off debt that you might have accumulated during the summer you want to be more organized and this is the perfect week to do so because we have a new moon happening on september 3rd in the sign of virgo and that virgo energy it's all about cleaning, organizing, focusing on work, focusing on your daily activities, focusing on your health. So making your life as organized, as stress-free as possible. That's the energy of this new moon. And the new moon is all about new beginning. So one area, think about one area of your life that is that you are feeling completely overwhelmed with, that is just too much for you to handle, or you see it and it's like, oh, this is a mess. I need to take care of this. I need to make sure that uh, I have a better understanding, a better program, better logistics of my daily routine of how I'm going to manage my time better. Or if you're constantly feeling like there is no time for anything, that, that, that you're not being productive enough, think about or make a list of things that are priority for you and focus on those things. Focusing on, focus on clearing, making space uh, for you to do the most important things. And then if other things you can avoid or push it to a different time, that would be, that would be best. And for those Scorpios who struggle with, with this aspect of being organized and having a specific routine or with mental clarity, the stone for you for the month of September, but you can use it any time that you need this energy is the holide and the holide the message is organize your ideas and your thoughts and start with what is priority for you so what is truly important for you start with that and then slowly clear your environment so you can have a better balance so you don't feel so overwhelmed with everything you're going to you have a plan you know what you need to do but it's all about time it's all about time and the the lack of time is 
was causing you a lot of um, uncertainty and stress. And this is why I recommend you wearing highlight during this month to help you multitask, to help you stay clear and organized, to help you focus on the things that you need to accomplish and have that mental clarity about what is important for you, what you need to get done. This is a fantastic stone. Also, if you are at a state when you are trying to learn something new, acquiring new knowledge, if you're going back to school, if you're taking classes, it helps you retain information. It helps you stay sharp. It's also a very beautiful stone as well. It's white with almost looks like marble, has different patterns of light gray, darker gray. And if you're interested, you can purchase this particular bracelet on my website on www goldentruthtarot.com shipping is worldwide you can find the link in this video also in the description box now let's move on to the second week because during this week i see that a lot of you scorpios have been you have been isolating yourself from others protecting your energy so much to the point where you you have said, okay, I don't want to deal with this person. I don't want to deal with that person. And you might find yourself lonely during, during the second week. Lonely, isolated. At times you might feel a bit, um, a bit sad. Oh, I don't have enough people in my life. Everybody showed me a side of them that, that, that I didn't like. And that is going to also make you feel safe in a way because you like to be alone and you like to know that you have control over your life and over everything but you're also going to feel a bit sad and overwhelmed uh, during the second week but everything is going to change in the third week in the third week because we also have a full moon happening in the sign of pisces that full moon in pisces it's all about emotions, the full moon, and it's an eclipse happening on September 18th. It's all about emotions, but it's also about your intuition being in another water sign. So you're going to find out something during this week where other people that you might have cut off your life or distance from yourself, you're going to realize that they have done something someone else wrong so if at some time if you had any doubts if you wondered oh maybe i shouldn't have done this i have isolated myself from everybody now you're going to be now you're going to feel like huh see i knew it i knew it i i was right this whole time i was right i knew these people weren't good now others can see that as well because there was times where you might have wondered um, if you made the right decision, so you would have to defend your position to others because they didn't see what you saw in them, and they might have questioned your uh, your your judgment when it comes to this particular person. Uh, but you will realize that you made the right decision. You will realize that everything that you've been saying was was right. People are going to know that as well, and that is going to help you. That is going to help you feel better, know that, um, have more peace within yourself, knowing that you did make the right decision. And sometimes it's better to be alone than in, in bad company, okay? And I do see in the last week that you're going to feel very tired physically, some of you might also feel um some of you also might feel under the weather or you might not feel that great in the last week this can be from overexerting yourself from doing too much from uh waiting till the last moment scorpios have this tendency to uh, to sacrifice and do a lot a lot a lot to to they get to a point where they just don't have the energy anymore till they get physically sick till they uh, till they're at a point where their body just 
forcing them to slow down and to and to stop and to and to recover it's going to be something that you're going to be able to move on from that quickly because we also have venus the planet of love and beauty and um it's related with with abundance as well with luxury with the finer things in life uh, entering the sign of scorpio on september 23rd and when it's in scorpio it also makes you skeptical about love and doubting and you need more you you need more than just the physical you need more than just the chemistry you need something you need more of a bond of an emotional connection that's what you're craving that's what you need and in the last week i see even for scorpios who are in a relationship i see that just the physical part of the of of being together is not going to be enough for you you want more you want to receive more we want something that is more thoughtful and it can it's not just about gifts and presents, but it's all about quality time for you. Is this person calling you, checking on you, sending you a good morning text? Uh, if you have expressed that you have a stressful day, are they reaching out? Um, different different things. If you said, oh, I'm hungry, are they bringing you some food? Anything that, that shows a deeper level of commitment and less selfishness. They're not just doing something that they're going to get something in return right away, but they want to make you happy. They want to do something positive, something good for you. So there is this strong emphasis in the last week of not so much passion and just being with one another, for the sake of being with one another but, but a need for bonding a deep emotional bonding a deep emotional connection between the two of you that's what you crave when venus enters your sign you need that more um we also have mars the planet that represents passion and action and, and, and also intimacy in the sign of cancer another water sign starting from the beginning of the month so so all this water energy with venus with venus and uh, mars in the sign in the sign of uh, scorpio and cancer is all about you building something more profound with one another and the same applies also for um for scorpios who are single Yes, you will get a lot of attention. Yes, a lot of people want to talk to you, uh, but you want to see more than the initial. If someone sends you the same boring text, the same compliments that you might have heard a million, millions of times, um, it's the, the same exact routine, nothing truly genuine and, 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 and special, you're not going to pay any attention. And it might even be a few cases where you were going to get annoyed and bored, like, oh, I heard this so many times. Oh, this is so repetitive. Oh, people are not creative anymore. Uh, it, yeah, it's going to feel like, yeah, you need more. You need something more emotional. You need like to see to see someone for who they truly are, not the facade that people tend to put on, at least in the beginning when they start um, meeting you or when you when you first get to, to know them. Okay, Scorpios, this is everything that I see for you guys for the month of September. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like and a comment and also follow my page so you don't miss out on future readings thank you so much for watching and i see you next time bye bye